Hello, Boston. It's me, the Master Blaster, Charlie Daniels. I'm here in front of a virtual 53 Berkeley Street, the home of the original Boston Tea Party. In March of 1968, WBCN was born right here. If you were listening to WBCN on the radio in those days, you could actually hear the bands performing in the background. And I introduced a lot of those bands in those days. Bands like The Who, Led Zeppelin, B.B. King, Little Richard. We're at the Boston Tea Party tonight. And we're going to end this here. Let's do it. Just in get Boston, rocking out the way it should be rocking. Hi, Charlie. I'm Bill Lichtenstein. Like many of you, I was there. And the American Revolution is a film about how WBCN, politics, and rock and roll changed everything. When we first got the idea for making the American Revolution, the biggest obstacle we faced was that we were making a documentary, a film, about a radio station for which there were virtually no moving pictures and no audio archives. Since 2006, when we first put the word out, hundreds of you generously shared with us your photos, your audio and film clips, and other archival material. 100,000 items in all. It has allowed us to make the film, and now we have this unprecedented archival collection from the radio station and the era. Many of the precious audio tapes that were shared with us from WBCN's early years had not been played in some cases in more than four decades. Paul Adams handled the archives for the film, hundreds of hours in all. Yes, it was an enormous challenge to preserve this material because we had to bake tapes, we had to replace splices, we had to find equipment to play it back on because you can't get these anymore. But it was well worth the effort to preserve the audio for the documentary as well as making it available to the public. Making the archives available to the public will involve efforts that go well beyond creating the film. The question for us has been, what's the most engaging way for this archival material to live on? Our answer? Ziga. What's Ziga? Well, it's a new way to tell interactive stories online, and it allows us to group this amazing archival material by geographic location. Let's show you how it works. I'm here at the Boston Common. In the early 1970s, this was the site of the largest Vietnam anti-war demonstration in the country. 100,000 people turned out. Standing on the real Boston Common, visitors, many of whom will be more familiar with Occupy, will be able to see and hear this event on their smartphone, starting with this original radio report from the day. The warm, clear day here at the Boston Common. Uh, the crowd built very quickly here, even in the early afternoon. At about 1.30, there were already 20,000 people here. And at 2 o'clock, the figure was estimated at about 30,000. Then at around 2 o'clock, various contingents came in from around the Boston area. Harvard and other various colleges joined with the MIT uh, contingent after their 1 o'clock rally. And uh, the crowd is expected to build to about 100,000 by the time the uh, official program begins. Another way we'll be bringing the archives you've helped assemble to public audiences is a planned exhibition of over 200 objects, posters, audio and film clips, a chance for visitors to create their own radio show, and of course, the extraordinary images from many of the great photographers who started in Boston during that era. Barry Schneer photographed young artists like Bruce Springsteen, Patti Smith, Bonnie Raitt, as their careers were taking off here in Boston, He's working on a museum exhibition of material from the film. We're looking to create an actual physical exhibit, a brick and mortar place where people can come and see, listen, and actually touch the original material the way it was actually produced with the artist's intention in mind. The American Revolution documentary film and archives is happening because of you, because of your generous support, and because of your willingness to share your archives for the film. This will all be coming next year with the release of the documentary, and the archives. You know, we changed the world one time and we can change it again. Thank you and enjoy the We're show. At the Boston Tea Party tonight in Boston, Massachusetts. All right, right on. There is no place like this place. Right on. Anywhere around about this place, looking at things like this place. Lord, you know this must be the place. Boston, Massachusetts. Well, be Bopalula, she's my baby.